my horse for the speed of light. A cloud of dust and a hearty hi yo silver. The Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. His strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness were always on the side of right against might. It was he, more than any other man, who brought peace and security to the frontier and finally made possible the winning of the West. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. We're heading east to Pecos. Huddle's waiting for us. I owe Silver. Away! The Lone Ranger met Tonto on the trail several miles east of Pecos. They held Silver and Scout to a walk until suddenly... Tonto, look at that man. Ah, him travel plenty fast. No horse could maintain that pace very long. Where is he going? He can't keep his horse at that speed all the way to Pecos. Look. Tonto, something's happened to him. He's spilled from the saddle. Me here, rifle shot. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. What for? We drill Scott off his horse. Let's go and get the paper from him. Look yonder. Ah, who are them two? I don't know, but they must have seen Scott fall off his horse. Come on, then, Bender. We can beat him to Scott. And if they want to shoot it out with us, we'll accommodate them. Maybe get one of them, but the other might get away. Hold it and see what they do. One of them's a redskin. Yeah, and the other's masked. Just keep a watch on them. If they find the papers on Scott, we'll have to find some way to take the papers from them instead of from Rod Scott. Now keep down and watch them. Oh, oh shot very bad. <laughs> See if there's anything we can do for him. I'll stand guard in case there's more shooting. Help. Oh. Who, who shoot you? It, it was... <coughs> Here, let me speak to him. Huh. Do you know who shot you? Listen. Help me. Yeah, we'll help you. Tell us who shot slipping, you. Slipping fast. Never mind. Killers. Only one thing. Now let me help you. You're trying to take something from your pocket. Yeah. Papers. I have them. Now, what do you want done with these? Take... Take them. Girl. Pecos. A girl in Pecos? What's her name? Sarah. Sarah Collins. <laughs> Look, 
Martin, that masked man, has got the papers from Scott. Well, let's get him, then. He's going to keep an eye this way. I reckon he has a hunch we're hit here. All right, then. I've got the answer to that. You miss him. Get down. Keep back of the lock. Look at what you started. I'll get him with the next shot. You keep down. That poor pouring lead at us like it was a rain. The rock is chipping and flying like sand. It's death to stick your head up. I don't know. Look, there goes the fellow on the white horse. Get him. Let him have it. couldn't fight them, Tonto. They had a rock in front of them, and we were in the open. Then the fellow that killed Ryder. We'll get the killers later, and they'll leave tracks. First, we want to take these papers to Pecos. They belong to Sarah Collins. Come on, Silver! Uncle Ben, I... I was in the general store today. Well, well, what about it, Sarah? You're in there most every day, ain't you? Yes, but today I... Well, I was standing at the counter and heard folks talking. They mentioned my name. As soon as I heard them say Sarah Collins, I was about to turn around. Uh, uh, who was that? I didn't know them. It was two men speaking. I didn't look around right away because of what they said. Hmm? They said I was either a fool or didn't know what was going on right before my eyes. A uh, fool or... D- well, what do they mean by that? That's what I was wondering. Been thinking about it ever since. What were they talking about? I don't know, sir. Um, when you came here to live after Ma died, I told you about the inheritance, didn't I? Uh, reckon you did make a mention of it, honey. Well, Paul had left the map of the gold claim with a lawyer in the East. The lawyer was to send it to me, remember? Well, sure as you. Uh, he ain't sent it yet, though, has he? Well, a letter came on the last stage from the East. He was sending a map and other papers about the claim by a special messenger. Oh, I see. Didn't I tell you? Oh, don't reckon you did, sir. Mm, I've had so much on my mind of late. I know. It's right hard making ends meet in this ranch. Fact is, it might take a gold mine to keep the place going for another year. Uncle Ben, is it as bad as that? I told you that things ain't been going good. We lost a mighty lot of cattle the last few months. Oh, I know, Disease but... and rustlers, one thing and another. Uh... I haven't paid much attention to the cattle. I told you when I come here that I'd do my best to run the place. But it ain't possible to make any money with the way things are now. Do you suppose that... Oh, I... Uh, what was you about to say, sir? Oh, maybe I should have kept a better watch on things. Oh, I don't like to hear you say that, honey. Sounds like you don't trust your old uncle. Oh, it isn't that. Well... Maybe you'd do better if you'd hire a top hand to run the ranch. I ain't anxious to stay where I ain't wanted. Oh, Uncle Ben, I didn't mean that. Of course, that. I never claimed to know all I was to know about running a cattle ranch. If your father had stayed here instead of going east and getting killed, or if your ma had stayed alive to run things, we'd likely have made a pile of cash. Stop it. I'll not have you talk like that, Uncle Ben. I didn't say that I was dissatisfied with what you'd been doing. Mm, not seeing what was going on around here. Yeah. You've been a fool for not firing your old uncle and running the ranch yourself. Oh, that's the thanks I get for wearing myself out trying to do things here the way you want them done. You're being a fool, Uncle Ben. You're making a mountain out of a molehill. I only said... Yes, that. I heard what you said, sir. I heard. Oh, if I was younger and able to get a job, I'd, I'd leave in a second. Man gets as old as me and has to depend on the generosity I'll of I'll not listen to any more. Oh, Uncle Ben, I want you to stay here and run the ranch as well as you can. If you lose cash, it's because everyone else is losing cash, too. It's just a condition. No, oh, the fact that every other ranch around here is losing this season, don't enter into it. I shouldn't be just the average man. Should be head and shoulders above the rest. What's the odds if they lose? We we should make money. We, we... Oh, nonsense. Who is it? I have something for you, Miss Collins. It's from the east. Oh, come in. Good evening. Oh, you're, you're mad. Please don't be alarmed. I'm not an outlaw. Uh, who are you? I saw a man murdered on the trail from the east. He was bringing some papers for Miss Collins. Uh, you got the papers? Yes. They're in this envelope. You say a, a man was murdered? An attempt was made to steal them. I wouldn't worry you about it, Miss Collins, but I think you should know so you can guard against another attempt. But 
Who would try to steal them? I don't know. Where did it happen? About ten miles east. Oh, that's bad. I don't like it. I wanted to get here sooner, but I couldn't ride into town until after dark on account of my mask. Oh, wait. What's the matter? I thought I heard something. I'll be back in just a moment. Toto. Uh, me here, Nightbird, too. It really is a Nightbird. That's right. Yeah. I thought it was you signaling to me. No, Tonto not signal. Tonto, we'd better get a new signal. Something that won't be mistaken. That's right. I haven't finished telling Sarah Collins about the murder of that messenger. Who there with the girl? Just her uncle. We were told that he was living there. I'll be with you in a moment. What's the trouble, stranger? No trouble. I just spoke to my friend. You better look at these papers, Miss Collins. Make sure they're what you expected. I will. Uh, here's the envelope, honey. Oh, the seal's been broken. I did that to find out more about the papers. What business was it of yours? After I leave here, I'm going to try to find the men who killed the messenger. I thought there might be a clue in the envelope. Look. And I... What is it? The envelope's empty. Empty? Are you sure? Yes, nothing but blank paper here. Now, let me see. Get your hands up, mister. Hand over them papers now. Papers? I haven't got them. Then where are they? I don't know. Come on, get your hands up and keep them there. I had a hunch there was something funny about this thing when I seen you mask. Miss Collins, if I'd planned to steal the papers, you think I'd have brought them here? Well, I... I needn't have come here at all if I hadn't planned to turn your property over to you. I'll just search you. Well, I don't find no papers. They don't seem to be about you anywhere. What'd you do with them? I think you'll find them somewhere in this house. Likely story. Now I'm going to search you. You just keep your hands where they belong. You'll not use that gun. My friend is right behind you. He has you covered. No, that's an old one. I ain't turning my eyes. drop gun. An Indian. But, uh, all right. You've got the drop on me. Go on and search me. Sarah will tell you that I wouldn't steal from her. Take the gun, Tonto. Ah. I brought the papers into this house in that envelope. They must be here somewhere. If you didn't take them, who did? Well, how'd I know? Maybe while Sarah and me was waiting for you to come back and in... Miss Collins. I don't know what to think. Do you mind if we search your house? I'm sure the papers are here. What's the difference if I mind or not? You'll search if you want to. You have a drop on it. Watch him, Tonto, while I look around. Well, you ain't found nothing, mister. What have you got to save yourself? Nothing right now. If you had the papers, where are they? I wish I knew. Well, you're responsible for them. You... Oh, I'm sorry. You did try to bring them here. I... I'm so confused, I don't know what to think. All I can see is that someone slipped in here and stole them while we wasn't looking. You'll probably see us again. You're leaving? Yes. Like fun you are. You're going to jail till we find out Come, Tonto. Uh. I can't imagine what happened to the papers, Tonto. I'm sure that uncle of the girl is the one who took them. Him got plenty good hiding place then. You give house plenty good search. Come around to the side of the house. He might have thrown them out the window. Ah. We've heard that Sarah's uncle is a crook. Not right. He'd been taking cattle from the girl for a long time, selling it and telling her that it had to be disposed of because it was unhealthy. We hear plenty about him. Now yeah, look around the ground here. The papers Get aren't... your hands up. What? Shut your trap. Make a sound, I'll shoot. Don't turn. You need her engine. Just keep facing the house. Do what he says, Tonto. I'll just relieve you of something that's in your pocket. So that's the answer. Clever of you, Ben. Who says I'm Ben? You stuck the papers into my pocket when you pretended to search me. Let me carry them out of the house. Uh, that was one way of doing it. I'll just mount up and travel, stranger. You needn't think you can make Sarah believe what you'll tell. Can't do it, see? I suppose not. Now get going. Show yourself around here again. You'll be jail savvy. Mount your horses now. You needn't worry, Ben. I'm not much concerned about you now. Huh? You didn't have a hand in the actual shooting of the messenger. But remember this. When I go after the men you hired to do the shooting, I'll take care of you as well. Just keep moving and don't look back. Very well. Break fast, Tonto. You'll take shots at us. Uh-huh. Get him up, Scout. I owe silver! Away! The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
now to continue our story. As the Lone Ranger and Tonto rode away, Ben fired after them. Their speed was too great, however, and he re-entered the house. The papers for the claim in his pocket. What was the shooting, Uncle Ben? Oh, go next, Sarah. My hunch was right. He did pick up the papers outside the window. You saw him? Yes, and he got clean away. I tried to shoot him, but I missed. I wonder why I came here at all if he wanted to steal those papers. I know why. It's because he shot that messenger and knew the messenger would be found dead. He figured to pass the blame on to some mysterious stranger he was telling about. Well, he, he seemed like a fine sort of man. Ah, uh, it's because you're a girl. I could size him up different. Right from the start, I knew he was a slick crook. But what do we do? I'm not going to let him steal the gold claim. We'll see the sheriff. I'll go see him right now. I'll have a posse out scouring the country before another hour's gone by. You wait right here till I get back. If I hadn't mistaken the sound of a real night bird for your signal, Tonto, he wouldn't have had a chance to steal the papers. Mm, that not happen again. We'll see that it doesn't. Well, we've got to have a new signal. Uh, Tonto, make it. What? Here. Tonto, got stick a willow. Fix it by moonlight. Make willow whistle. You listen. You did that while I was trying to figure out our next move? Ah. Then we'll use that whistle for a signal. Wait. Any fella make whistle like this, Tonto fix it different. Fix plug in one end. Push plug in, pull plug out, make different sound. What's that? Time to show you. <laughs> you savvy? Very good, Tonto. Uh, here, signal. Good enough, Tonto. Now we'll make use of that signal. And how we do it? I'll show you, Tonto. I have a scheme to trap Sarah Cullen's uncle and his hired killers. Here, Silver. And where you go? You come with me and bring the whistle. Hip! Come on, Silver! Uncle Ben reported the robbery to the sheriff, then met two of his friends in the town's cafe. The uh, sheriff will have a posse out hunting the masked man and the redskin. Well, what good will that do? He won't catch him, I'll promise you that. I happen to know who that masked man is. Hmm. The Lone Ranger. You don't see. Hear that, Bender? It was the Lone Ranger that found Scott dead. I'm doggone glad we didn't get into the open and shoot it out with him. Me too. We should have realized who it was when he called that white horse silver. The point is, the Lone Ranger won't let himself get caught by the law, you see. He wouldn't do it because it'd mean his mask could be took off. But as long as a lawman can hunt for him, Sarah and everyone else will think that he's got the chart and location of the gold claim. That was slick work, Ben. How soon do we shove off and stake a claim in our own name? Well, not for a time. I've got to wait till I'm sure Sarah don't suspicion me at all. Can't be too soon to suit me. We'll do it in a few days. You wouldn't try to double-cross us, would you, Ben? Why, I needn't have no concern about that, boys. I I can't handle the thing alone. I'll keep my word and cut each of you in on it. See that you do. We could tell a plenty about the way you sold the Collins Longhorns and then lied about it. Now, don't worry, boys. We're all partners. <sighs> now, I've got to get back to the house. I left Sarah there alone. One thing more, Ben. Well... Ain't you feared that the girl will overhear something about our cattle game? She did. But I put on the right sort of an act, and she was eaten right out of my hand. You leave things to me. Of course, if she does get to know too much, she could always meet with an accident. Oh, I don't want nothing like that. Except as a last resort. Now, you stay in town, lay low. I'll let you know when I'm ready for you. Right. See you sometime tomorrow. Good night. Good night, Good night. As Ben drew near the house, a whistle broke the stillness of the night. He paid little attention to it, however. He was more interested in two people who were standing at the open door of the house. Uh, the masked man again, talking to Sarah. Without showing himself, 
Ben crept close enough to overhear the conversation. But I can't believe Uncle Ben would do a thing like that. At any rate, it's a good thing we were suspicious of him. If we hadn't been, he might have gotten the real papers. Then he hasn't the real papers? The real ones will be given to you tonight. Now? I didn't risk bringing them with me. Oh. Have you some place to hide them, not in this house? Well, I, I can find a place to hide them. Where your uncle won't find them? Yes. But I can't believe Uncle Ben... Miss is... Sarah, do you know where Grover's Woods is? Of course. Everyone around here knows that. At the edge of the woods is a huge pile of rock. I know where that is. You meet Tonto and me there at midnight. Can you arrange that? Yes, I, I guess so. Slip out of the house without letting your uncle see you. I met it late, so he'd be asleep. Very well. If you can't get away without your uncle's knowledge, don't come. We'll make another appointment. I, I'm sure, stranger, I can be there. I, I call you stranger, but... But I feel that, well, friend. Thank you. Adios. Yep. Come on, Silver. Goodbye. <laughs> I reckon I heard what I wasn't supposed to hear. So the papers was faked, him. Eh? Yeah, it's a good thing to know. I'll just hurry back and tell the boys they've got more work ahead of them tonight. <laughs> Sarah's gone. We'll handle things so you get there. Sure we will, Ben. I won't be far behind, Sarah. You keep out of sight till this mask man hands over the real claim papers. All right. And we'll just help ourselves. You won't want to be seen, will you? I'll get my face covered with a bandana. That'll be safest. Just as well as Sarah don't know about you. Now, remember, get hit a little before midnight. We'll be there. without me knowing it, eh? <laughs> well, she likely would have if I hadn't happened to overhear the plans. Hmm. Yeah, give her a chance to get a little ways ahead. Uh, slip out. Easy does it. Oh, drawers always seem to squeak at night. There now. Close the door. Go on foot. Think far. She can't be more than a little bit ahead of me. Good moon. Makes things real bright. There's a... Uh, <laughs> cinch to follow her. Oh, there you are. Am I late? Right on time, Miss Sarah. I had to wait until I thought Uncle Bennett had time enough to get to sleep. Did you find a place to hide the papers and maps? Well, there's one man who can be trusted, the sheriff. I'll take the papers to him and ask him to lock him in his safe until I can arrange to take care of things. Good. It's just as well to wait a short time before you do anything about them. Yes. Here, take this envelope. Everything that's required is in it. I'll never be able to thank you enough for what you've done. Please don't thank me. All right, folks. Just get your hands out, Tonto. You too, Redskin. Oh, what are you... We'll doing? take charge of that envelope. No, no, you're... Hand not... it over, me. You can't get away with this. We'll take our chances on that, mister. Just you keep your hands up. I'd as soon shoot you as not. I don't think you'll shoot. No? No. You keep that envelope, Miss Sarah. These men are cowards. They'll make a big noise about what they'll do, but they don't dare fire at us. Yes, sir, that mister. Who's your friend? Can't he talk? None of your business. You. Get back. Get away from me. Trying to disguise your voice? See what's behind that bandana. Don't get back. I'll shoot you. You should have brought the men who killed Scott. Those men weren't afraid to shoot. We're the ones that shot him. It won't get you if you don't do what's said. I'm still going to see who's behind this cloth. You... Uncle Ben. All right. You know about me now. Boys, now you've got to grill that masked man, the redskin. That'll be a place. No. No, Uncle Ben. Don't shoot You me. ain't in no position to tell me what to do, sir. You double-crossing crook. You've been stealing cattle ever since you came to live at my house. You never crossed your own sister, my mother. Save your breath. I'll talk to you later. Martin Bender, go on fire. One minute. Well? Before you open fire, perhaps you'll give me a chance to speak. Speak quick, then. But I won't do you no good. I'm not going to ask you to spare my life. I 
I'm simply going to clear up a few points. Tonto, have you kept watch on that man? Not Tonto watch him. Has he kept the papers in his pocket? Papers still there. Good. Hey, what papers? The ones you stole. I promised, sir, they would be handed to her tonight. But you... She came here to get them. The ones I gave her didn't mean anything, Ben. What's he talking about? Let's do it before he tries a trick on us. Now, wait. Let me see them papers, sir. Just plain paper. You can see for yourself. You see, Ben, when you came to the house earlier this evening, Tonto gave me a signal. While we didn't see you, sir, and I knew that you were close enough to overhear what was being said. We made arrangements to meet here tonight. Hey, was this here a frame-up? We had to make you show your hand, Ben. It would have been very hard to prove that you were a crook. Sarah wouldn't believe it. Even though I took the claim away from you, Sarah would have given you every chance to steal it again. So we arranged this little meeting. All right, you had your meeting. Now. We also wanted to get your two pals to admit the murder of Scott. And they did that, too. Now I guess it's time for the sheriff and his men to take charge. Okay, boys. Oh, they're wrong. Shoot it out. They want to fight. All right. All right. My hand. This way, down, sir. Oh, he picks him up. Good work, Tony. No. That does it. Oh, my hand. My hand is busted. If it had been me that had shot at you instead of the Lone Ranger, I'd have put the bullet through your head, you coyote. Now you got to hang. Oh, and you get on the feet. Let, let me go. Yeah, you're going, Ben. You're going straight to jail. Uh, frame. The masked man framed me. And done a right neat job of it, too. Take him away, boys. And take care of Ben. We want to keep him good and healthy long enough to hang him. Oh, I, I can't believe it yet. My uncle, a, a crook. You and me and my wife will have a meeting, Miss Sarah. We got to make plans for your future. Dad ratted I was against Ben being in charge of things when he'd come here in the first place. Yeah, you're awfully nice to think about me. I... But where's the last man? I want to thank you. I don't